Hello friends in this video let us discuss about memory leak What is memory leak We can allocate memory dynamically using m alloc and c alloc If we don't deallocate the dynamic memory which we allocated it will reside in the heap section forever It will reduce the amount of available memory and reduces the system performance This condition is known as memory leak. Let us assume the total available memory of heap as k bytes. If we allocate n byte of memory dynamically, it will consume n bytes of memory in heap section. When the particular piece of code is executed n number of times, then n into n bytes of memory will be consumed by our program. At some point in time, n into n can exceed k that is the whole heap memory will be consumed by the program and it will result in system crash due to no available memory let us take this program as an example here we are dynamically allocating 4 bytes of memory but this mlloc statement is inside while of true which is an infinite loop so this mlloc statement allocates memory infinite number of times so the entire heap section will be used and there won't be any available memory for the system to operate further at that point of time the system will either crash or shut down so how do we overcome this condition of memory leak we have a inbuilt function called free which deallocates the memory we allocate dynamically we should pass the pointer of memory to free which ends up deallocating the memory and makes the memory available for any further memory allocations let us take this program as an example if this piece of code looks new to you please refer to mlloc video in this series to understand how mlloc works here we are allocating dynamic memory of 5 into size of int using mlloc it means we are allocating 5 into 4 that is 20 bytes of memory ptr points to the allocated memory and using ptr we can access and assign values to memory here we store value 10 20 30 40 50 at the consecutive memory locations once if you are done using this memory we should free this free function takes up the pointer ptr and deallocates it so after program execution the available memory regains its original size now if we free the same pointer two or more times then The behavior is undefined. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.